How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here. I'm giving you folks a video here. We're going to be talking about the Avengers um, newest... Oh, sorry, I heard something there. Um, newest Avengers coming out here. Um, but we're going to be talking about the uh, pre-review, in a sense, kind of thoughts. What I'm thinking is going to happen. And then what's going to happen is the second half of this video, which I will definitely break off and maybe I'll timestamp it in the, in the description, uh, will be the actual review of the movie because I'm going to see it tomorrow night. So we're going to talk about kind of what I think is going to go down and that kind of stuff. And then look at that, look at that nice view, eh? Nice. Nice. Uh, and then we're going to talk about, again, what I think what I think's going to happen, and then really what happened, and what I thought of it. Um, right, off, right off the get-go, um, the Infinity War here is going to, it's going to be interesting. They've tied in a lot of characters. I haven't seen the second Guardians of the Galaxy, so there is a couple characters there that I'm not super familiar with. I have seen the first one, so I do know, like, Star-Lord and them. Um, but I thought they had one or two other new people in there. I could be wrong. Uh, Thor, like, again, I've seen how Thor kind of got to where he was, where he lost the one eye, but he's kind of changed. Um, he's kind of realized his power wasn't necessarily the hammer. That's cool. Um, Captain America, I've seen in there, but it just looks like he's got way more facial hair. I don't want to happen there. Uh, you obviously got Iron Man, you know, like the main guys, right? Um, now from the trailer, okay, from the trailer, obviously... Our enemy will be bringing an army. That 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 I can guarantee you um, will happen. And it looked like uh, the Black Panther army was charging them at one point in the fields. And I think that'll be an epic battle. I think that'll be really good. I don't think anyone, however, is going to die. I don't think they'll lose any of the heroes. Um, Vision, maybe, because it looked like Thanos was getting the um, Infinity Stone off his head right at one point and i love the fact that like he's take like in any of the trailers you'll probably watch for that movie there's been a scene where this thanos fella has been just taking out one of the heroes uh like single-handedly like no problem um i can't remember which ones it is maybe it was captain america at one point but uh and i remember there's one with iron man where he's like just hitting iron man right into the pavement like and he had nothing um, and you know what, Iron Man's up there. Or maybe it was Thor that he was grabbing. But he's grabbing one by the head and just laughing as he's squeezing him. Like, like he's taunting him. Like, they can't do anything. Um, uh, now I've also heard that they're gonna split it to a two-part film. I would be kind of upset, actually. I think it should definitely be a one-film, uh, kind of deal. But we'll definitely see that in the second half of this review. Uh, like I said, I, I definitely agree, I think, anyway. It should be one, it should be one film. Right? But I think the build-up to Thanos has been in every movie, and it's been clear that he is coming. Um, I, I'm a little concerned, however, that they're going to have too much going on. Um, like, you have way too many heroes, way too, like way too many characters that are supposed to be involved. Um, and and I, I think that'll be interesting in a way, though, because at least they'll get to meet each other. And they might actually put their differences aside. And say, like, you know, fuck, I hate this guy, but you know what? I have to work with him. Because if I don't, like, there's going to be some problems. Uh, like, this Thanos fella is going to wreck us. Uh, I, I also heard of someone, I read something about the comics that two of the heroes died. I Like I said, I don't think anyone's going to perish. Um, I would like to think they will definitely defeat Thanos and the army at the end of the film. Because it happens in every other movie. There's not a way that there's no way that they're, they're they're getting wrecked, right? And if they get wrecked, I will stand corrected uh, at, at at the end of part one here of this video, because I'm telling you right now, I can't see it. The way that movies are filmed nowadays, I honestly do not, I can't fathom it, because it's just not fathomable. Right? It doesn't happen. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I think everyone will... Definitely everyone's putting their differences aside. I can't see that necessarily going over well. But I see people, um, again, yeah, putting their differences aside and coming together. I noticed one thing, though. Captain America had a different shield. Um, I don't think it looked nearly as good. Um, and, again, all the facial hair, too. I don't know what the hell happened to him. Uh, but clearly he hasn't been shaven. And uh, that probably is supposed to signify he hasn't been taking care of himself. But I definitely think... Um, like I said, he'll come together, but yeah, he, he ain't getting the shield back because that's apparently Tony Stark's. After the last Captain America movie, which they beat, basically beat the shit out of Iron Man, um, 
him and his pal there uh it, it didn't look good for for their friendship but uh the, the biggest thing about that that i think is going to happen in like again in this film is that is that is that that relationship between all of them and again i don't know what kind of army thanos is going to bring he's got to bring an army right he's not coming in by him lon by his lonesome taking everybody out but i definitely think that uh like you kind of see how strong some of these characters are i'm wondering how much more powerful he thanos has to be to beat them right or to be able to have the power to beat them but i if i'm right he's got two of those infinity gems or infinity stones and i think there's four in total if i'm correct um i think star lord's got one of them from his movie the first one guardians of the galaxy right they all got one right they were all holding on to it to like contain its power i don't know what happened to that and i know there's another one like again in vision's head like literally on his head there's a there's a there's a stone there and i think that's how, like how he, i think he taps to that power um when they made him i think he he's using that power uh i think that's a fair statement and I, like I said, I think that Thanos is going to come take that stone. I don't know about the other one, but even if he's got all, I, if he's got all four, I don't know what that means. But I know he's got that fucking gauntlet, and clearly that's a way to maximize that power, right? Uh, the, my question there is like, if, is he as strong without the gauntlet? Can he can he compete without the gauntlet? Can, will he will he lose? without it that easily right like what does this gauntlet give them we're gonna find out um but yeah i don't know i'm i'm really looking forward to it i think it'll be a good film uh like i said i'm watching it tomorrow night so i can't i can i can predict as much as i want but i don't have any fucking idea um until i actually get down there and see it and that'll be interesting I really do. I think it'll be a great film. Uh, it's definitely overhyped. Not necessarily in a bad way, but it's just hyped. Like it's getting hyped. Like they've been build like they've been building this movie up. Um, like why do you think that in every movie now, every Marvel movie, they tie in the other heroes? Like Thor has met Doctor Strange. Right? Um Ant-Man, Spider-Man, like they are all in the Captain America movie. Like all of those people were in one movie. Right, all of them. So they've got like already most of the people in already meeting each other, let alone now um, coming together. All right, I thought I had to put the camera away. But uh, like I said, so this is going to be part one um, where I'm talking about it. I'm, I'm stoked. Uh, so it is going to be a longer video because, again, I'm putting two parts together, which is the before and after of seeing the movie. And I think that um, is going to be a different aspect, a different take on it because coming at it just saying hey i saw the movie here's my thoughts but hey i haven't seen the movie yet so i'm gonna start doing this it's gonna be the before and after um you're still gonna see some afters because i've already seen movies and i still want to just talk about them anyway so yeah that's gonna happen but i think it'll be interesting i think it'll be, i think it's a different take on a movie review and like i said i always see people separating those if they do them you do like a trailer review or something but you don't see like okay i'm about to go see the movie here's what i think is going to happen and then come in and I, I i've definitely stated what i think will happen um so yeah if if i do this correctly you'll be seeing me in literally just another second in a whole different scenario and telling you how the movie was okay how's it going everyone uh nick steel nick daniels uh, coming at you live here now. Uh, I just got out of bed, so I'm gonna be whew, gonna be a little tired looking, and we're, we're not gonna be the most energetic with this. I uh, was gonna come, try to come do this the other night, but uh, this is part two of the review, so you're seeing it back to back right now. But for me, yeah, it's been yeah, it's been a couple days. Uh, I ended up getting busy last night. I got home and I didn't have time. I ended up going out to a banquet right after work. And I don't think I got home till about 10 something. So again, like I'm, I'm pretty shot on time. And uh, said, yeah, you know what? Saturday morning, we're walking to work at seven o'clock. Let's do it. So there's gonna be a lot of spoilers here. Like if you really don't want anything ruined, I would just suggest you don't watch the video uh, because I, yes, I am gonna talk about what happened and uh, we're gonna get right into it then. Even more. Uh, honestly, I, I'll, I'll tell you like it is. 
went into the theater. It was pretty full, actually. It was a pretty full showing. And the the thing that got me the most, the thing that surprised me the most, is when the movie ended and, like, you know, the bonus credit scene came up and all that, everyone was fucking quiet um, after that. Like, when we're all leaving the theater, not, like, normally, it's chit-chat, right? Or people are like, oh, my God, right? Oh, no. No, it was pretty quiet, considering. Um, yeah, there was some people talking. But it was really just, um, it was just silence. We all just kind of walked out. Like, nobody really knew what to say. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm no expert at the movies, but I, I did kind of call it. Uh, cause I said, like, you know, I would, I was hoping that some people were gonna die, um, uh, from the Avengers, right? Or not necessarily the Avengers, but you know what I mean? Like, some of the heroes and stuff. Um, and yeah, like, right in the beginning, they, they kill off, like, one of the, not one of the main guys there that, that went with Thor, but one of his, like, you know, again, one of his guys. Um, they also had the Valkyrie there, but I, I, I they didn't show her unless she was actually there and got killed off. But, uh, because she was in Ragnarok, and then all of a sudden, now in this movie, we haven't seen her. Um, and it looks like Thor is probably the only person from Asgard left alive. I'm pretty sure everyone else died. And it was a really interesting way to start off the movie, like, doing it that way. Uh, because they actually show that, yes, yeah, Thanos is coming, but they also show that this guy's fucking powerful. Because the Hulk comes at him, which I thought was actually one of the, my favorite parts of the movie. And, like, he literally goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Hulk, like, fist fight, and takes him out, you know? And then the rest of the movie, the Hulk doesn't want to come out anymore, which is odd because the Hulk normally wants to come out when he gets angry, but the Hulk will just say no, and then he, Bruce Banner would turn back to normal. And, uh, you know, he was getting pissed off the whole movie, which was kind of funny. Um, yeah, that he couldn't get the Hulk going. And uh, maybe that's why. Because, literally, he got his ass fucking kicked. Um, and that's the Hulk. And that's crazy. Like, I have not seen that before. That somebody was easily that, like, that a easily able to just literally, like, punch the Hulk out. And it wasn't even that much of a fight. It was like, man, Thanos made that look easy. Right? So he's just that good. And that's only when he had one of the gauntlets, too. Or one of the, uh, the gems. Now, the whole movie, you know, he's going for them. And, like, the, the whole Avengers group doesn't actually fight together. It's two groups that fight together right and come at them uh and one of the groups is defending on earth the last stone which vision has which are going to try to destroy uh but ironically um dr strange is telling them that he was looking in the future at like 14 million outcomes for um how this was going to end and he said only one of them they survived so when he gave over that time um whatever you want to call it it to me that's why he gave it up because he knew that was one of the that was the one outcome that they would win um if he did that there was a chance uh because yeah i don't think he would have handed it over so willingly and he said earlier that he was going to let people die to save that gem but when buddy was going to when uh, thanos was going to kill tony stark he, he got tony stark to to, to live uh, but the funny thing they almost had the gauntlet off and I think they, they, if they had the gauntlet off, they probably, they might have actually been able to beat him. But it was that Star-Lord got pissed. Because his girlfriend just got killed, which was, uh, what's her name? Gamora, I believe it is. Um, and she's from Guardians of the Galaxy. And, uh, yeah, like I said, she got killed from Thanos. Because, yeah, he fucking threw off a cliff, basically. For one of these, uh, soul gems. And, or, for the soul gem, yeah. Or the Infinity Stones, right? Uh, yeah, and like he starts hitting Thanos, and I was like, oh, fuck. Because they're all, like, Spider-Man's there, like, they're all trying to keep Thanos under a spell for, like, uh, just a minute, just to like, get that, that gauntlet off. And, like I said, they have the chance of beating him. And, uh, no. Right, oh, it's starting to rain a little heavier. Oh, well. Um, so yeah, so, and, and that's the big thing. Honestly, though, like, at the end, when everybody started disintegrating, because Thanos had done that, like, he flicked his, uh flick the wrist there i i don't know really what to say to that um i know there was some talk about that that like he said earlier that he could just flick his wrist and everybody would disappear kind of thing um i think that may actually been a bit of legitimate but i think that they just ceased to exist so i'm wondering if they can undo that but the gauntlet looked like it actually took some damage when he did that uh so that that really makes me concerned that um whatever he did might not be able to be undone 
it's hard to say uh so i don't know oh or it'll reverse like the, the current people now you know i wouldn't say they'll be sacrificed but you know they'll uh it's hard to say i, I don't want to speculate and like i said my camera is getting kind of wet um from the rain here actually just it just really started raining and i don't have an umbrella it's actually at work so i gotta I, I just gotta fucking suck it up i guess <laughs> walk through the rain um but yeah again like the biggest thing about this movie was that that had happened basically thanos had won um and that's crazy because as i've said a hundred times before like i you just never kind of expect it um and, and I, I like when they do that. It's just that you, they don't do it so often. And for a Marvel movie, it's very rare. Uh, kind of sadly, though, they didn't bring Ant-Man in. I was kind of, They did mention him, but I was kind of upset about that. Uh, I kind of wanted to see a little Ant-Man. Personally, I wanted to see Ant-Man. Um, like I said, I don't want to actually talk about every single thing that happened in the movie. I don't find that's the point of the review. But... Uh, but you guys get the idea like i said it, man it, it honestly like i said i was really good um people in the theater were like really quiet and like man there's a point where like tony stark gets fucking stabbed in the gut and like everyone like was fucking gasping in the audience it was <laughs> it was funny like because that's what i mean like there it wasn't um it was a, it was an avengers movie like no other like this is the one where, like, it's not just, like, one random death of a character that no one gave a fuck about. It's, like, man, everyone gives a fuck about these people. Because we've seen so many Iron Man movies and so many movies with Iron Man in it and Captain America. And, like I said, they easily were getting defeated by Thanos. Thanos, you know, he, he has... He's got some fucking abilities, uh, you know, that... That nobody else is going to come at like there's a point where they do destroy one of the infinity stones the very last one and he he still has that time one so he literally just goes back in time just to why vision was still there and then just takes him out um and then and gets it anyway and i thought that was gold i never even thought of it i was like holy fuck <laughs> this guy's badass um thor plays a big role because he makes this new weapon and he throws it after Thanos gets the sixth stone at Thanos. Um, now Thanos shoots like this beam at it, like I guess to kind of blow it up or whatever, because it's just like this, basically just a war ax coming at him um, with thunder. And for some reason it goes straight through all of that beam and hits Thanos right in the fucking gut, impales him. And it, so it definitely looked like Thor could have easily taken him out if he would aim for the head, because that's what he says. He's like, you should aim for the head and then snapped his, snapped his fingers and he vanishes like he teleports off and that's when everybody just starts fucking disintegrating it's a really weird sight because like i said i don't feel like anybody really knew what was going on um and it's like i think half the people or half the population vanished when he snapped his fingers like that that's what i'm pretty sure happened uh but like i said overall uh really good i know there yes there's gonna be a part two but uh, I don't really know honestly how they'd even be able to defeat him at this point because it just it, they didn't stand much of a chance already and yeah like I said I, I really don't know uh, I don't know if there'll be a way and that's what I wonder if there'll be a way that they, they can figure it out because from what I can see there isn't and they're all fucking boned right and if Thanos even comes back uh, I will say for a last point that he had some minions, which were pretty cool. And there was a big guy, uh, two smaller ones there. I think that was right. Maybe it was four. Um, and three of them had like uh, staffs or whatever. I might be getting the numbers wrong. But there was this one skinny guy, and he had basically um, what would you call that? Not telepathy. But basically he could like he can go like this and he's throwing stuff at you right he can um not kinetic i'm trying to think of that word you know what i mean uh, but anyway yeah so he was able to easily um do these crazy moves like he, he he is powerful um that guy was definitely powerful and, and i thought it was crazy because his his ability to again like throw things into people's way and whatever um like he was using that like no problem 
So this guy is easily, like, he was easily a good fighter. And um, he ends up getting shot out in space, so unfortunately it just freezes. And I was like, oh, that... <laughs> oh. Same as the, the, the really big guy there that surfed Thanos with the fucking axe. He ends up getting, um, actually, in, in Uganda Shield, so Black Panther. Um, he gets dragged through it, and basically that just burns the fuck out of him until he dies. Yeah, he, he uh... He didn't make it. Yeah, then one of them, um, Black Widow's spears and the gut. They're saying how she's gonna pay. Of course, they don't get her. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting. But anyway. And then, yeah, and the comedic relief was good. I should mention that. The comedic relief was good. It was well needed. Um, and, there, and there was a good amount of it in there. But I'll tell you, like, again, one of the darker films of the Avengers, um, or the darkest, and definitely took multiple, I, I would have to say multiple people by surprise. So thank you so much for watching everybody. Um, this is part two. I know we kind of rambled on for a little bit longer than I expected, but that'll be all right. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.